Hey guys and welcome to another video showing you how to get the most from Nohans proxies. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to get the proxies from Nohans proxies into another one of our tools called Nohans SEO. Now even though this video is specifically about getting the proxies uh, getting the right type of proxies in no hands proxies and getting them into um, no hands SEO the the techniques used will be useful for other sort of SEO tools where which involve searching in um, Google and Yahoo as well as posting uh, for backlinks and things like that so I'm going to start off by getting no hands proxies up now you can see it's been running for a little while it's got 2100 or so proxies and you can see that there's a, a wide range of transparent anonymous and elite proxies going down now this is essentially I've not changed anything other than to set the threads to 100 just because that's more or less what what my uh, connection can handle at the minute so it's been running I've got some proxies now what I need to do is go into the settings now this is to get the proxies from no hands proxies into a file so the no hands SEO or your other um, backlinking tool can load the proxies in from that file so the first thing we need to do is select the option to output proxy list to a local file and then the vast majority of tools that, that I've had experience with uh, will only accept the proxies in a text file. If you output them to a .csv file you will get more information in that file but those tools won't be able to use that so we're going to stick with the, the text file for now because that's what's supported in, in most programs and then all you need to do is uh, select the location to save those proxies to. Uh, well, to do that we're going to click on the browse button and you'll see it loads up your, your usual save um, file dialog now I'm going to go ahead and put them into the Nohands SEO folder. Um, if you're using the installed version of Nohands SEO, you will have this folder already, and it just makes it easy to to find it later on. So I'm going to make the uh, file name input proxies and click save. Now that's where the proxies will be saved to. Okay, and I'm going to change the output proxies every X minutes to. Um, let's say we'll, we'll change it to five minutes okay and uh, we won't bother saving the settings just yet because there's one more thing that we need to do but that is essentially how you get no hands proxies to output all of the proxies all of the working proxies sorry to a file okay from there we need to go to the proxy testing settings now it used to be the case that all proxies for searching had to be either anonymous or elite so that it would uh, really hide your uh, actual location but for some reason somewhere along the lines Google especially not so much Yahoo but Google um, especially um, decided that they weren't bothered if you were using proxies they were going to take that proxy's IP address as your IP address so you don't need to if you're just relying on Google you don't need to set the minimum anonymity to anything other than transparent although you will need to check Google um, to, sorry check against Google to make sure that the proxy works for that now for no hands because the vast majority of proxies come from sorry the vast amount of uh, links will come from Google rather than Yahoo I'm only going to check them against Google now that may seem counterproductive because obviously you, you probably will want to be using uh, them for searching Yahoo but at the same time if the proxy works in Google chances are it's going to work in Yahoo and you're going to get a lot more working proxies from that and uh, because of that you're going to get a lot more links in no hands so we're going to leave it checked with just Google and leave it set as transparent and we're going to save save the settings now you can change the the retest working proxies um, value here you don't really want to set it too much less than 15 minutes because then you'll f get to a point where you're just rechecking your working proxies far too often rather than actually trying to find new proxies so even though you want to make sure that all of your proxies are working you also want to be finding new proxies to be using so that if you do get them burnt out you, you get in new one uh, new ones to, to use so we've, we've saved the settings and now every uh, five minutes the file will be updated with how how many proxies have uh, done the the Google check and passed okay 
that's that's all you need to do for no hands proxies now in no hands SEO we're going to get that up now what I've just shown you in no hands proxies would be the same for pretty much any tool which does searching and or posting um, now this bit is more specific to no hands SEO but most uh, backlinking tools or rank checking tools or anything like that will likely have a similar sort of option uh, that I'm about to show you. So in No Hands SEO we're going to go to the settings tab and proxies and you'll see in here there's the, the secondary proxies. I'm going to use them mainly because we are using uh, public proxies here not private ones. So I'm going to opt to continually update from file what that will do is it will tell no hands SEO that you want to update the the proxies from that file regularly rather than just load in the file once it's going to do it on a regular basis for you automatically so it will constantly be updating the proxies that no hands SEO is using now we're going to click on the browse button uh, there just to just to tell no hands SEO where this proxy file is okay so I'm going to go to the no hands SEO folder now we see here the input proxies file we're just going to select that and you'll see straight away it's imported all of the the proxies from that file and I'm going to select um, what I want to use those proxies for which in this case will be searching whether you want to use them for posting is really up to you um, you're likely to get a higher acceptance count not using them but at the same time uh, you are going to be revealing your actual IP address so you may get flagged um, in some unwanted databases or, or you know such as Akismet which could in the long run lessen your chances of getting linked so it's really up to you but for this example I'm going to be choosing it for posting and PR checking now that's really all you need to do you don't need to check the proxies every X minutes because um, no hands proxies will be doing that for you so now you've done that all you need to do is click the save button and now you'll see down here in the proxy indicator you have naught two two three five and naught the the third naught is for the the harvested proxies in no hands SEO but because you're using no hands proxies you don't need to be using them the first naught is for the private proxies well, we're not using private proxies in this example we're just using the the secondary proxy list which is 2235 which is roughly what has been output from no hands proxies so there you go that's all you need to do you can then start adding in your profiles and get to backlinking all the uh, exporting of proxies from Nohans proxies into the file and then all loading of proxies from the file into Nohans SEO will be done for you. You don't need to set anything up. All you need to do is make sure that Nohans proxies is running at the same time as Nohans SEO and all of your proxies will be uh, handled for you. Okay, so I hope that's helped. Again, as always, if you have any questions, by all means, get in touch with me via the contact form on the website at nohandsproxies.com or we have the support forum at nohandsseo.com forward slash forum. Uh, you can always ask questions or post feedback. Any um, feature requests can be posted to there or alternatively, you can get in touch at support at nohandsseo.com or support at nohandsproxies.com. Okay. It'd be great to hear from you and uh, I hope this video has been helpful. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.